exciting options to choose from. A great restaurant that we came across was the White Wolf Cafe and Bar. They are independently owned and operated, and they are the only restaurant of its kind. And they have an interesting backstory. Here it is for their owners, Anne Marie and Michael Hennessy. All right, so as she was saying, uh, the owners, whenever they first found this place, you can see it used to be an antique market. Uh, whenever they started moving in, they decided to keep the whole antique feel. Uh, during the whole process, they were turning it over into a restaurant. They had their dog. Uh, it would hang out here every day right out front of the store. Uh, he looked like a big white wolf. Um, and all the locals in the area, they would walk by every day on their way to their jobs and to other restaurants. And they would see him, and he became known as the White Wolf of Ivanhoe, which is the area that is known just around here. Uh, so they took that inspiration, named their restaurant the White Wolf Cafe, and this is what you have it here today. The restaurant has a very eclectic feel to it. It has antiques covering all of the ceilings and walls, with chandeliers, paintings, and statues, all of which are for sale. The food at the White Wolf is amazing. They're well known for their breakfast and brunch items, but also have an exceptional lunch and dinner menu. The White Wolf also has a great cocktail, beer, and wine selection. If you visit them during their breakfast and brunch hours, you cannot pass up on one of their Bloody Marys or Mimosas. Jose, how was your meal today? It was great. I had some big package. It was the best meal of my life. That's awesome. How was the? What do you think of the the decor with all the antiques? Oh, I, it was great. I've never been in a restaurant with antiques, so I just bought a chandelier for nine hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs>